Peter Hewitt, La Artistino. Some time ago, I had eight different sets of pencils which I reviewed for you, looking at their suitability for use in a colouring book. Since then, I've accumulated several other sets of pencils, and I thought combining those with a few of the old sets I had knocking around, I have a further eight that I can review for you. So, using the same technique that I used last time, I will go through each of these pencils and demonstrate their suitability in colouring books so that you can have the opportunity to choose which ones that you like when you think about what you would like to buy for pencils for colouring in. Now, the eight sets of pencils that I have here are a French brand called Conti. These ones I picked up at a supermarket, they cost me 10 Australian dollars. I've never heard or tried of these ones before, so that should be interesting. I have the Stadler Norris Club, which are very readily available here in Australia. And I think this little pack cost me $12 for 12. I think actually these were bought some time ago as a set for pencils for my kids for school, but they didn't need them that year, so I got to keep them. So this particular set is perhaps, or maybe half a dozen years old or longer. Next, I have the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolors. Now these are just the pencils, they're not the watercolour pencils. They do make uh, the watercolour pencils as well. But I thought we'd go through these because these are, these are quite popular and these are a German brand as well. Quite a lot of them come from Germany. Now here I have the Mitsubishi 888s. These are fairly new. I only picked up this pack about a month ago, which is about the first time I've ever seen them. I can't find much about them online, so I'm eager to see how they'll perform in a colouring book. They cost me about uh, 45 Australian dollars, I think. Next, I have my Derwent Colour Soft pencils. This is another one of the Derwent range and these are supposedly very very soft and they're a wax based pencil. I don't have a packet for these because I bought most of them individually so they're just in one of these Derwent wraps. I think the retail price is fairly similar for for all the Derwent range with those ones. Next I have, let's see, these are Columbia Colour Sketch ones. These are another cheap brand of pencil. I think these were about, uh, let's think about $8 I think for a set of 12. Again, this is another set that I bought, uh, was bought for school, but my kids didn't end up using because they already had plenty of pencils left over from the previous year. And I don't like throwing away good pencils. So they uh, got to continue using their pencils and this little pack got saved. Next I have, whoops, ignore that, that's just my little stand there. Uh, that, this one is the Koenor Progressos. These are from the Czech Republic. I've got a pack of 24. These were actually sent to me to review, so I'm very glad to be able to review them in this, and I may look at doing a separate review for them too. And finally, I have these absolutely beautiful Karen Dosh Luminance pencils. These are ridiculously expensive pencils, but um, they are also very nice pencils. So I haven't tried these yet. Um, I've had a few little plays with them, but I haven't a really big play with them yet. So this should be interesting too. Now the book that I will be using is Angela Porter's Color Me Stress Free. I've picked this book because it's the same series with the same paper as the first book that I used and it has a nice Mandela in it which is an 8 point Mandela so it'll go well with these 8 different pencils. Okay, now I'm going to divide the Mandela up into 8 portions and we'll colour in each portion with a different set of pencils just the same as we did last time. Okay, let's get started. I've chosen this eight-pointed mandala to use for this demonstration. And as you can see, I've already divided up into eight segments, eight pie pieces, and I've labeled each section with the pencil that I'm going to use. Now I'll start with what I think is probably the most budget one of the lot, the cheapest one, which was the Columbia Color Sketch, which are these guys here. These are made in Indonesia, and they come, wood comes from sustainable forests. So I'm gonna select out Oops, the 10 pencils 
The same colours as we used in the last one. So that's practically all of them except for that brown and that pink. So there they are. So here we go. Let's begin with the yellow. We began with the yellow last time, didn't we? Seems to go on fairly smooth, but I can feel there isn't a whole lot of pigment in there. It's sort of very standard sort of feel you get from a sort of cheaper student grade pencil. Okay, let's see how it mixes when we add the orange. It does look very smooth on. There's no white speckling that you get with the softer pencils. Now I'm bringing it up over this yellow to see how well it merges. Oh, it's not too bad actually. This orange is nice and dense, but it's not that the brightest, darkest orange I've ever seen coming from a pencil of this colour. I think if you coloured with these, it would be a satisfactory experience, but your colours would not look quite as brilliant as with other more expensive pencils. Okay, let's try a different colour. I might go for the greens now, a bit of the lighter. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? This is the light green from the set, but it's a really strange pepperminty kind of colour. Really, it's not what I'd call a light green. This one is not very pigmented at all either. It's quite hard to get the colour out. This is the dark green. Very much like a Viridian green, this one. It's very bluish. It's pretty colour, but it's not what I would have um, called a dark green. Well, it is a dark green, but it's not what I'd call a standard dark green in a 12 pack. Mixing isn't terribly good with these ones. Doesn't really want to layer very well. Okay, let's try the blues. I've got the light blue here, sort of a light sky blue. And these are pretty hard pencils. And this one I'm having, having to work it quite a bit to get any blue out at all, actually. The effect is pretty, but I'm having to work for it. I don't think it'd be, uh, in this particular book, on this particular paper, I don't think this would be a very um, pleasant experience to be colouring for hours with these pencils, trying to achieve this kind of depth of colour. Perhaps if the paper was, this is fairly smooth, this paper, perhaps if the paper was a rougher, more toothy paper, these pencils would work a lot better. But I think on your standard, fairly smooth colouring book paper, this probably isn't a great choice. Okay, what shall we pick next? How about, we haven't done the purple and the pink. Let's go and give those ones a go. Oh, hello. In contrast to the other colours, this pink is actually not that hard. It's softer and a bit denser in colour. It's a bit of a surprise. Not soft as in artist quality soft, but it's certainly a bit softer than the blues were. They were terrible. Okay, let's go to the purple. Oh, purple's not bad either. Blend it into the pink pretty nicely. So this is a bit of a mixed bag, these pencils. They're sort of okay to really not okay. We've got black and red to go. Nah, this red is very faint. I'm having to press hard to get the colour out of this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually I find um, the reds Particularly these orangey reds are, are quite dense and, and soft, but that one definitely isn't. And the black, where am I going to put you? Mm, yeah, this black isn't dense at all. It lays down okay, but it's more of a um, grey and it is quite hard. As I said, I really wasn't expecting much out of these pencils because they are only the budget ones. I'll finish this side off now and we'll move on to the next set of pencils.
that's the first eighth of the pie finished with the Columbia Colour Sketch. The result isn't too bad for all the problems that those pencils gave me. The, they actually look okay uh, when you finish. They're not the easiest pencils to work with, but if it's all you've got, you can still get something pleasant out of it. Let's move on now to the Stadler Norris Club pencils and I'll select uh, eight out of those to correspond with the same colours and we'll follow the same type of pattern that we used here when placing the colours. Okay, here are my ten Stadler pencils. Now the Stadlers as you know are German made. They are a student brand pencil. I'll show you a little bit about them. You see the white sort of coating that they've got on the cores. That's what they call their anti-break system which is a little coating that prevents the lead from breaking, or sorry, the core from breaking when you sharpen it so that uh, you don't have the problems with the core breaking and falling out. Now these have got fairly thin cores. If I can turn it up to the camera there and focus for you, you can see there's only a tiny little core in the center. So there isn't a whole lot of pencil if you want to rub on the side to get a, a lot of pencil out. But anyway, we'll see how these ones go. And once again, I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm just going to follow the pattern that I've established already with the Columbia pencils. There is not much pigment at all in these pencils. These are probably, probably one of the least pigmented pencils I've ever used in my life. I'm talking just about the yellow here. Maybe we'll have better luck with some of the others. It's funny though because usually as I commented before, the yellows, oranges and reds tend to be the most heavily pigmented and softest of all the pencils. This is the orange and again, there's not much pigment in those pencils. usually expect with German made things that they would be really high quality and as a general rule they are, but I'm not feeling it with these pencils, I can tell you, I'm not feeling it. I always expected these to be better quality than the Columbia's, but nope. I mean, look at the difference already, you can see. We'll go the red, we'll follow the pattern that I've already established. No, that's as hard as a rock too. I think if you tried to scrub hard with this pencil on the paper, you would actually end up damaging the paper. Okay, what else we got? The greens. Well, it is a nicer shade of light green than the Columbia's, but still really hard and I'm getting these little flecks of specks of dark colour as well on the paper. When I, uh, with the orange, and I'll see if it's the same with the green, going over the top to blend it feels okay but it just isn't, mm, that's not good either. There just isn't very much pigment at all. I believe they sell so much of these pencils. These are sorry, and sorry, Stadler, and sorry, any fans of Stadler, but I am not loving this at all. This is quite difficult. That blue's a bit better. Oh, now the first thing I have to tell you is these are very, very hard, and there's, yeah, you can see in comparison to up here, there's much less pigment in the lead, and they are super hard. I don't want to press down too hard on the paper because I don't want to ruin it, but he's very faint. Let's try the black. Again, that isn't really black, is it? Even up against these cheap ones, you can see the difference. purple can you redeem us with pink and purple there's the pink no, look at that look at the difference this is the same pressure used for this pink and that pink there and you can see how much lighter it is with the more heavily textured colouring in books these would be okay but they certainly wouldn't be my first choice they wouldn't be my second choice either it's more of a green colour than the bluey green of the Columbia's but
these pencils are marketed to students and children, but as a child, colouring in with these pencils would not inspire me to continue colouring in at all. I think to get the best out of these pencils, you would have to have a nice, rough, heavily toothed paper to be able to rub that, that pigment off so you can actually see it properly. Okay, that's the this section completed now and all I can say really is oh dear that wasn't a pleasant experience and as you can see even against this other budget brand which was cheaper than the Norris Club brand this does not look very good at all it's very light very washed out and pastel okay we'll see if we'll have better luck with the Contis and here are the Conti pencils. Now these are French made and they must be associated with Big because at the back the web address is given as www.bigworld.com and there's your made in France and lots and lots and lots of different dialects here. Okay different languages I should say down there. Um, right these are very sexy looking pencils you open them up and they're all black with the black wood and these lovely bright colored tips so I picked these ones up at the supermarket I've only ever seen them a couple of times but these were ten dollars Australian so let's see how they perform once again we'll start with the yellow you can only really tell it's yellow by looking at the tip there it's got a fairly whoops I'll just pop there that in there so the camera can focus you can see it's got a fairly large core Looks nice, feels nice. Let's see how it works. Oh, oh no. The colour is definitely denser than the Staedtler, but it is quite hard. But it is, it is a harder pencil. I don't know, I might have a bit of medium pressure there to get it to take. The very tip was a bit scratchy to start off with, but now I've smoothed it down a little bit with colouring. It's not too bad. Look, even here it's a bit hard to see with the yellow probably more prominent maybe with the other colors but already that's a lot denser and brighter than the Staedtler's were still a fairly hard pencil but compare it to say using the Faber-Castell classics which I did in the last demonstration I used in the last demonstration they definitely were a bit softer than this to use this is I'm having to put a fair bit of pressure on to get this color it's 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 nice enough color but I'm having to use about medium to hard pressure to get it to, to lay down. See how the orange goes. Mm, it's not horrible. As I said, they are student quality cheap pencils. But another one of those, if this is the only thing you could afford or that you could see around you, it would do the job. But it will take longer and be a bit harder to achieve all the nice effects and density that you'd want. It's very scratchy. I don't know if you can hear the scratching this is making on the paper. It's a very scratchy noise. Again, I wouldn't want to try and put too many layers of this down. I would think you would uh, end up tearing up your paper. I would say this is probably a little bit harder than the Columbia sketch, but the colours not bad. Not brilliant, of course, but not bad. Let's see how the greens go. Start off with this light green. Mm, no, this isn't 
very nice at all actually that's quite hard the color's okay it's a little bit duller than what I would like for a light green in a um in a, in a short set a 12 12 pencil set but it's scratchy if I press too hard I leave lines if I don't press hard enough I don't get enough color out no, I don't think I'll be using these pencils again after today as you know some of my cheap sets I like and I keep going back to but um, particularly the Faber-Castell classics even the Crayoles and especially my Mikador color brushes which I still love very very much actually I think they're wonderful pencils and the Collins but this will not be a set I'm revisiting that looks really patchy it's not uh, it's not blending in very well at all and this, uh, this dark green again is sort of that bluey dark green color it's not bad but I like it to be a bit more green than blue the darker ones I've got the blues here the dark blue looks really really dark okay well, let's see how that goes mm, this is supposed to be the light blue so follow the pattern I'll pop it here and here's a very dark blue oh no it doesn't look as dark when you lay it down it just looks very dark on the lid it looks almost like a purple on the lid it's merging in better than the greens dude Okay, let's go for the red. Hmm, it's not really a red red this one, it's more of a purplish red, like a hmm, like a matter colour, isn't it? It's yeah, it's it's I like sort of the red to be more scarlet and orange and this is sort of a bit sort of deeper, bluish tone of red. And again it's super hard, super duper hard. see what the pink and purple combination do now now that pink looks very very dark like a burgundy so we'll see how that turns out actually that's not bad these um leads look a lot darker than what they actually are when you lay them down it's odd because you'd think they'd be denser color they're actually not let's see how this purple goes down when I say not too bad I mean in comparison to how the other colors are performing that's fairly dense but mm, still still having to apply a bit of pressure to get that colour out. Not as bad as the other ones, the pink and the purple. Okay, black. I think it's the last one we haven't tried yet. Let's see how you go with the black. Mm. Already I can see that's not dense at all. You could not get a nice dense black out of this if you tried. Fairly light. In fact, I would say it's just about as light as the Stadler black. And there's no way, no matter how many layers you're going to put on that, that you're going to get a black out of it. And I am pressing fairly hard here. Okay, that was the French Conti uh, pencils. Um, probably getting the pronunciation wrong. Uh, didn't like them as much as the Columbia Sketch. The black certainly lets the set down, if nothing else did. That was that was terrible. Uh, mixing not so great, uh, but yeah, I don't think I'd ever use these ones again. But anyway, interesting to have a look at. Okay, now we'll move on to the next set. 
Now we're going to demonstrate the Mitsubishi Uni number no. 88. And I've pulled the camera back so I can show you these pencils as these are quite new and many of you would never have seen them. I found them by chance about six weeks ago at my local art shop. I'll pull these off, I can show you what they look like inside. Now these are Japanese made and I haven't had much luck finding any reviews online about them yet so possibly this might be the first one. As you can see, lovely range of colours. They tend to be brighter, more pastel than you would expect uh, from a, a range of colours, but I think this is probably more standard from the pencils that we see coming out of Japan. Lovely range of colours, there's lots of pinks, and um, they come sharpened, but if I can show you one that I haven't actually sharpened myself, it's kind of a blunt, there we go bluntly sharpen there, too blunt for my liking so before I use them I sharpen them up a little bit more, give them more of a point. And we will see how we go. I'll select the appropriate colours out of here and we'll get started. Okay, here are our 10 pencils. As you can see they're quite thick bodied, very nice sized pencils there. Uh, the core is fairly in the center there actually that's not a good color let's try the red um, the core is fairly generous not the thickest I've ever seen but pretty good now uh, let's start with the yellow also with sharpening these pencils I didn't have any issues so far with any core breakage I mean, it's early days yet but uh, I don't think I'm going to find there's much problems with the cores I feel fairly sturdy well, let's see how they go now I will say these were quite a bit more expensive. I have the 36 set and it cost me 45 Australian dollars. Already I can feel there are they are definitely a lot softer than the previous three pencils. I expect these are a bit more expensive, so you're hoping that they're going to perform better. And they're not bad at all. This yellow is going down fairly nicely. I feel I can get a nice gradual increase of colour there. No, so far so good. They do feel waxy. I'm not sure what the binder is in these pencils, but it does. To me, this feels more wax than oil. And it's enough of the yellow. Let's see how we go with the orange. Now, the orange is a little bit lighter than the other sets that I've used. It's more yellow orange. I don't actually have a dark reddish orange in that 36 set. This is in fact I think the only orange, but it's nice. I think if you wanted a, a more reddish orange, you'd mix this with a little bit of the red pencil, layer in a bit of red. It blends really nicely actually. Make a nice smooth transition there without too much work. So far they don't feel like, to me, they've got as much pigment in it as other artist quality pencils. I assume these are artist quality. It doesn't actually say on the box. Okay, let's try the greens. That's a nice green. That's the sort of green I like for a light green. And I would say these were fairly hard pencils. Not horrible hard, but they are definitely on the harder side of the spectrum. But not terrible. And I've chosen a bluey dark green just because all the other pencils beforehand seem to be more of a... The dark, the dark greens in those limited 12 pencil sets seems to be more of this sort of bluish, tealish dark green. several times and it still happily lays down more over the top. Uh, let's see what the pinks do. This pink's a little hard actually, this particular one. I know it says that there's a lighter pink in the set, so actually it feels a little softer to use. This pink's a bit hard. Yeah, I'd say even the Conti pink was uh, softer than this one. Now we'll go to the purple. It gives a nice dense colour but it is, it is one of the harder pencils that I've used. Hmm. I don't really like the lay down of that purple. Looks a bit scruffy. <laughs> One of my little dogs is asleep and having a dream in the back and I can hear her making those little whimpery woofy sounds in her sleep. It's so cute. Okay, let's go to the red. Oh, hello. I like the red. I can feel this is soft and very dense. This is definitely a nice red. Yeah, look at that. Blue 
blue. Let's try your blues. This would be very nice for people who like to make these nice, just single colour gradations from white to, to a deep colour because they're quite easy to achieve a nice white to dense colour effect with this. This blue is fairly light though and it's, that's a pretty light blue. I can't really get much more colour out of that. Okay, let's put a darker blue in there. Oh, yeah, that is a darker blue. It's a bit of a jump, isn't it? Okay, we can make this work. This one again, this is like the red, it's quite soft. So there's a bit of variation in how the pencils lay down the colour with this one. Some of them are fairly soft and some are rather hard. Having a bit of difficulty blending those two colours together. Still, looks alright. Not as easy as the orange and the yellow was, but I can still get, I can still do it. Maybe because the um, contrast is so great between the two of them. No, I don't like how they've blended at all. That looks very patchy. It's not, not nice and smooth, is it? And working it over with this lighter blue doesn't seem to be fixing it at all. I think the black's the last on the list. Let's see how dense we can get this black. Ah, and it's pretty good, pretty good black actually. It's pretty dense. Again, I'm having to press a little bit, but that's, that's a really, that's a, the best black we've used so far. Now this is just on colouring books. I wonder how these would perform on sort of something with a bit more tooth. Oh, it's got a little bit, tiny little bit of dust comes off of that. Not much. Well, we've been through the colours. I'll continue to complete this segment and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, that's the Mitsubishi 888s. I can already see that the colour is much denser than in the previous three. 
bit of a mixed bag I think here some of the colors were lovely the greens were very very nice that red is beautiful the black laid down fairly thickly and the dark blue as well but the some of the colors particularly the, the pink the purple and the light blue I didn't perform very well at all they were quite hard and difficult to lay down and very difficult to blend over so a bit of a mixed bag with that pencil set so we'll move on to the next set Next we're going to look at the Koh-Noor Progresso pencils. I've got the 24 set here. Now these are interesting. They come in this little slip case and you just push out these plastic trays and there's two of them in the 24 set. There's this one which has mainly the standard colours that you would find in any 12 set or in most 12 sets of pencils. And then I've got a second tray which has some of the more mixed colours, a different different variety of colours here. And these pencils are available in Australia through Micador. So if you would like to try a set for yourself, you can order them through Micador or anywhere that stocks Micador products. If I pick them up, I'll show you something rather unusual about them though. The They have no wood in them. The entire pencil is the coloured core, which means that if you're doing a lot of side colouring it's great because you've got this huge surface here that you can colour on and the rest of it this is sort of like this plasticky film over the top another fun thing about these I think if you're sharpening them you can save all the sharpenings and use them to to rub in as uh, as pencil dust which is what I'm going to do with these anyway we will select the standard 10 out of these and we'll get started We'll start again with the yellow. I forgot to mention the price for these, I think in my local art shop was around about $38 for the set of 24. You can get them in a set of 12 too. It's laying, laying down quite smoothly. I'm not sure if this is a wax or oil based. I have a feeling this might be a wax based pencil again. These feel very nice. Not having to put too much pressure on them at all to get a lovely dense colour. And it's quite a nice yellow. Just ignore that little smudge of green in there. It's because I had the, the tip of the pencil a little bit dirty. I didn't realise when I sharpened it there was previously sharpened a green in there. It's the sort of pencil that I could just get lost with and enjoy the process of colouring in. Let's see how they mix. I'll grab the orange out. I do like the little plastic trays. Very sturdy. And the orange is a nice dense orange. Probably a bit cooler than I'm used to in an orange, but they're mixing really well. I'm not having any issues there at all. If they're so soft, I've just got to be a little careful. I'm trying to put them on lightly that I don't go too heavy. So they're not the softest pencils I've ever used. And definitely the softest pencils would have to be up to date, the Prisma colours. Now they only come in up to packs of 24 that I know of but I don't mind that so much because it forces you to be a bit inventive with your colour mixing and uh, you can get more interesting more dynamic looking effects if you use several different colours to try and create the same effect as using the plain you know standard already pre-mixed colour. We all go for, let's try the greens now. Right here's a nice light green it's a, again it's the sort of green light green I like it's a nice pretty yellowish light green it's a little bit harder than the orange and the yellow was but it's not bad okay let's see what the darker green does oh, this is quite quite dense look at that fairly easy to get a nice dark layer of green down there and it looks like it's going to mix fairly well too so I'm not having any blending issues here there is a little bit of pencil dust when I press I'll pretty easily put another layer over the top these pencils feel because they're solid cores they feel heavier in your hand than ordinary wood pencil so be aware of that if you don't like if you don't like the heaviness, like you don't like using very heavy pens, these are these do feel a bit heavier. Right, let's see 
let's see how the blues do. Mmm, that's, that's the best light blue I've had so far. It's nice and dense. In fact, that light blue is um, as dense and as dark as some of the dark blues of the other ones. Once again, I'm having to exert some control over my the amount of pressure I'm putting down because it's very easy with these to put too, too dark a layer on, too intense a layer on. They're quite pleasant to use. Let's go for the, the dark blue. Mm, it's a proper dark blue this time. And again, it's blending quite nice. Well, I'm not having any issues with these pencils at all. Except for a little bit of um, pencil dust that's coming off it when I press. But other than that, they're not bad. In fact, they're quite good. I'd be quite happy using these pencils again. Got some very deep, intense colour to them. Okay, let's try the pinks. This is a nice light pink. Let's see how this one goes. I can say that the lay down so far has been very consistent across the range of colours. They all perform pretty much the same. It's only one purple in the set, but it is only a 24 set. Purple is a bit of a lighter purple than I'm used to, but it's again, it's not bad. Not super bright, but it's not bad. If I was using this set, I'd probably supplement it with purples from another set. So I do like deeper, brighter purples, but that's not bad at all. I believe the purple pigment is quite an expensive pigment. Now, red. And again, this is quite nice. You easily get a nice dense solid red. It's a little more cooler than the red of the Mitsubishi there, as you can see in contrast. So it's less of an orangey red and more of a bluey red. But again, it's quite soft, lays down nice. Get a nice smooth finish to it. Right, what are we up to? The black. Let's see how this black performs. And it's, it's pretty good. It's a nice dense black. Oh, I'm fairly happy with these ones, apart from the purple, which I think is a little bit washed out and a bit dull. Their colours are very bright, very intense. Anyway, I'll continue to finish this piece off and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this way you should never work with children and animals. I was distracted by my one of my dogs and I've put black there where it's not supposed to go. So I've just used a Derwent a little electronic eraser to take as much off it as I can, which is a good test actually. And you can see here I've got about 80-85% of the black off. It'll still leave a shadow, but shows you can go really dark with a dark colour with these pencils and still be able to remove quite a bit of it.
Okay, I think that is that part finished uh, with the Koinor Progressos. Uh, so far these are definitely my favourite. Very, very dense, bright colours. The only thing i found, because they are so dense, you've got to be careful when you're laying down a light colour next to where you've already done a dark colour because it will smear and smudge into this, to the, to the light colour. The darker colour will smudge into the lighter colour, I should say. I'm getting all my words twisted up there. Uh, but uh, that is something that you can expect from deeply pigmented uh, dark pencils anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. I think that's just a standard you'll find with all pencils. I really like these. I like these a lot and I'll definitely be using them again. Okay, now it's time to move on to the Lyra Rembrandts. Next we'll be looking at the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolors. These are another pencil from made in Germany and they're quite popular. I've seen them used quite a bit. If I open them up to show you, I've only got the 12 piece set. They do come in a large range of colors. I think they go up to 72. Just tell me if I'm, I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it's a 72 set that you can get. These are the 12s and they're quite nice. There's a very elegant looking pencils. They're slimmer than most pencils. They've got the um, sort of this uh, varnished wooden shaft with the colour on the tip and a bit hard to see. The core is uh, one of the thinner ones but still fairly generous. Anyway, we'll give these ones a go and see how they, they perform. Okay, starting again with the yellow. Now, these ones have the names on them as well. I've heard good things about these Lyra's and my first impression is they're quite nice. They go on easily with a medium pressure, what you would expect for artist quality. These I find, at least here in Australia, they tend to be uh, less expensive than the Derwent's and the Polychromis and the Prisma colours. So if you're looking for an uh, artist quality set without the huge price tag, and th these are still you know, not cheap, but they're not quite as expensive as, as some of the other sets. So far they're quite pleasant to use. The thin shaft pencil may possibly be a problem to some people uh, who get hand pain or arthritic pain, in which case you can invest in a set of those soft silicone rubber grips that you can slide onto a pencil. Right, let's try the orange. The lay down is nice and smooth. There's no rainy appearance that you get with the super soft pencils and it's blending very nicely into the yellow. This orange isn't quite as dense and as bright as the Koinor Progressos but that just might be this particular shade of orange. We'll see how we go with the other colours. Certainly the yellow is nice and bright. The tip is fairly firm. It lays down well, but it holds a point too. It's not dulling very quick. It's still got a nice sharp point even after all of that colouring. Okay, let's try a different colour. I'll go, well, we've been doing the green next, haven't we? So we'll go for the green. Fairly nice green. Again, it's a nice yellowy green that I like in these um, small sets. dense colour too. I'm not having to put on a huge amount of pressure to get a lot of colour out of this either. So these, these are what you expect from an artist quality pencil. They're performing quite nicely. It's making a nice smooth blending from the dark green into the light green. I'm not having any issues. Okay, this is the light blue. It's a fairly, oh, it's still nice. It's a little bit scratchier and I'm getting a little bit of pencil dust off it. That's not bad. This feels, this feels, now I believe, I believe the Lyra's are a hybrid between wax pencils and oil based pencils. Not 100% sure about that. I haven't been able to find much information as to what the base is, but I do remember reading somewhere that that's what they are. 
they feel waxy to me they have that sort of scratchy waxy feel when I say scratchy I don't really mean scratchy I mean that shushy sort of sound that some pencils make when you lay them down more shushy shushy than scratchy sorry I'm making up words here this is a very light blue probably slightly harder to get the colour out of this one than it has been with any of the other colours before see how the, uh, the dark blue goes this is Prussian blue in the set. I didn't have that problem with the pencil dust with the other colours, just these blues. Okay, um, let's see, let's try the reds. One red, anyway. This is their pale geranium lake in their colours. And that's nice, actually. That's a really nice dense red. Okay, how about. Hmm. Do you know, I've just realised this set does not have a purple. Okay, it's got two browns, that's why. And so I can't actually show you a purple because I don't have one. So I will just use this dark carmine in place of it and I'll sort of do it lighter at one end and darker at the other and I'll put a bit of white in there just to lighten it up. If I do it lighter at this end, it's not really a pink so to speak but it'll have to do the job and stand in for this particular set. Make it dark at that end. Pop some white in at this end. There we go. Tell you what, let's see what happens if we take this Prussian blue. I'd rather have an ultramarine to do this with, but we might be able to get a purpley effect with the Prussian blue. Just shows even with a short, a, a small set of pencils, you can still pop up some colour varieties that you don't have if you really want to. That's not bad considering I don't have a purple. I said I'd prefer the ultramarine to do this with. Ultramarine has got that lovely, bright, intense look that seems to work really well when you mix it with a um, with a, a carmine. I can tell you right now it mixes quite nicely if you want to mix new colours. There's nothing wrong by the way with or a small selection of colours to complete your work. I said I could take a 12 pack of pencils and still come up with something pretty acceptable just by mixing the colours. I've even seen people mix rather agreeable skin tones, um, pale skin tones I should say, even when they don't possess any skin tone pencils in their selection. Right now we're up to the black. I don't think it's quite as dense as the Mitsubishi, but it's not bad. Not even I think the Progressos were slightly blacker than this, but this isn't bad. Okay, well I'll finish off this uh, segment and then we'll move on to our next one.
Okay, there we go with the Lyra Rembrandt Poly Colors. Next we'll move on to the Derwent Color Soft. Now I don't own a tin set of Derwent Color Softs. So this is a set that I have accumulated. Some of them come from a book, a colouring book that I bought which came with a small set of colour softs and other ones I've bought as open stock. Now these, as you know, Derwent comes out with quite a lot of different pencils. These ones, the colour softs, have got this dark sort of burgundy barrel, brown burgundy barrel, and they have very, let's see if I can show you there, they have very thick cores. And quite soft these are wax based and in contrast to the artist and and uh, studio pencils these ones are reputed to be very soft so we'll see how we go with those I'm going to pick out a little set to match the other colors that we've been using and we'll get started okay here are my color soft colors the 10 that I've chosen we'll get started in these pencils have the names on the barrels and this is the lemon yellow if they live up to their name and already I can tell you that yes they do these are very dense and easy to lay down lovely very smooth I think a set of 36 of these will probably set you back in Australia around about $70 I think possibly a bit more depending on where you buy it from as usual these pencils shop around man that went on super smooth not a problem at all to get some nice dense color down with these pencils they just love to let their color go it's quite a nice shade of lemon yellow too yes. okay let's try the orange yeah nice dense orange color very easy to lay down and how we're we going with the blending feels a little bit sticky to lay down over the top of the other color Still going on the light, but oh, there we go. There's some pencil dust too, quite a bit actually. Off the end. I have got the, they can uh, be, probably a bit difficult to see, but there's bits, little bits of cracked off the end. Oh my goodness, crumbling. I think these would probably perform better on, again, toothier paper. They are very soft. Um, I'm not loving the blending. It's not as sharp now and we're still getting dust everywhere. I think if you use more than a medium pressure on these, they're gonna, particularly this orange is gonna dust up. It's a nice colour and it doesn't want to play nice with uh, blending though. They're very dense and they are very soft and they're softer than the Lyra's definitely but um, it's more degrees. But I'm not loving all this pencil dust all over my page. Okay, right, maybe that's just that orange. Let's try the other colours. It's a lovely green. That's the light green. I mean, it could be that this pencil, the paper that they use in this particular colouring book is, is very smooth, which, which I wanted for this demonstration because I wanted to push these pencils. And they probably would perform better on a slightly rougher paper, such as you would find in Joanna Bassford's books. It's a nice green though. I like the green. I'm not getting the pencil dust off this one that I was with the orange. Okay, what happens when we lay the darker green over the top? Now, I don't really have a very dark green in the greens. This one's just called green. It's not going to be the really deep dark green of some of the other sets. It's not too bad. Once again, I'm seeing some pencil dust. I think if you go in a bit lighter, it um, mixes better. You don't want to go in too heavy or else it just doesn't want to, to mix at all, to blend at all. If you go in lighter, you'll get a, a much better mix. That's the trick. The problem with having used all those cheaper budget brand pencils before, I kind of get into the habit of pressing too hard to start off with. you really got to go in. The Color Soft needs you to go in soft to start with and then build up your layers. It's a bit better if I go in softer, I don't have so much problems with mixing. In fact, it mixes quite, and it's quite smooth actually. You get a nice smooth gradient there. A little bit of pencil dust still coming off. Let's try the blues. Soft pencil, this blue's a little hard, but then I find pencils with a large, pastel sort of a white, a large amount of white in it, like the lighter colored sort of pastel blues and that, do tend to be a bit harder. I think they use less pigment, more filler to create the lighter colour and we still got pencil dust coming off everywhere with that one. Oh this is a nice blue. What's this one? This is the electric blue. That one's, that one's mixing all right and I'm not getting any pencil dust off it at all. So there's a bit of variety there in the way they're going to perform. That's mixing nice though. Nice and smooth actually. 
I think the trick with these ones is just don't go in too heavy and depending on the paper whether you can lay lots of layers or not. Let's go the red now. Yeah, red's nice and dense. And it's a lovely red. This one's called Scarlet, this pencil. Okay, pink and purple. And this is lovely and soft, this pink. Actually, it's a nice pink. It's a really nice colour. Oh, that's nice purple, actually. Woo -hoo. Okay, and that was the Derwent Colour Softs. Now we're up to the last wedge in our Mandela, and it will be to demonstrate the Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencils. And this is my set of Caran d'Ache Luminance 6901 pencils. This is the 76 set. I was very lucky, my husband gave this to me when we were on holidays. It's probably one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, pencil sets you can buy and certainly not for the faint-hearted, I think, budget-wise. If I'll show you what's inside, if I open it up, you'll find it comes with a really nice padded lid and a little um, pamphlet thing that well, basically just gives you a little background on them. And then you have these three trays, which are really well made with these little foam pencil holders. This, these are, this is beautifully made, uh, this box. It is a cardboard box, but it's a really nice one. And there are all your colours there. I'll show them. You've got those ones, which are your brighter ones, going into your greens and browns. And then you've got all these ones, which are uh, different um, percentages of pigment in them to make them lighter 
and you also get with this set two of these blending pencils which is all blending material there's no wood in there it's just a full core of blending material that you can sharpen and use to blend and these I haven't tried them yet but they're supposed to be quite good anyway I'll select out the 10 colors and we'll give them a go here is my color set selection of the Karen Dosh luminance pencils um, as you can see each one is it's a fairly thick pencil we have a nice exposed wood grain there which makes it looks very elegant and um, the color is on the tip the writing on it is in silver which looks lovely but it does make it a bit hard to read particularly trying to read the names at the end of the tip there the cores are quite generous uh, let's see if I can get this in focus for you so you can see there's quite a bit of core there and the other thing about these um, Swiss made pencils is they've got a very high light fastness rate which means that they they won't easily fade in in the sunlight so they're good for um, pictures that you want to put out on display okay let's begin once again we'll start off with the yellow I'm just going to pop a bit of paper underneath my hand so I don't smudge what I've already done these are reputed to be very soft and they are very soft quite pleasant that's so far so good. And the yellows are often really soft and pleasant in a lot of different sets. I don't know why, but um, they just tend to be nicest pencils in the sets. Let's try mixing it now with an orange. This orange is lovely and dense, like woof, really nice and dense. A little bit of grippy, tiny little bit of pencil dust, but otherwise so far so good. I like it lovely lovely dense colors I'm not having to press very hard at all I mean fa fairly moderately hard because this is quite dense to start off with I don't want to do hundreds of layers on these pages on this um, test sheet it's quite an enjoyable experience um, coloring with these okay let's try the greens and I've picked a nice uh, spring green this one is it's quite a light bright green so it's a fluorescent looking green isn't it there's darker greens in there but this one sort of matched the palette that we've been using so far the best. Now, I'm not sure, but I think these are also waxed base pencils. Again, they sort of feel waxy to me. And let's see how we go with the dark green. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Again, lovely deep colour, easy to achieve. These are very responsive pencils and they, so far, they seem to play very nicely with each other. And another layer of this and it still wants to take more layers happily taking more layers here now this set I believe retails for somewhere around 360 perhaps to $400 in Australia I've seen it possibly more some places so not not for the faint-hearted really in terms of price I think these are a bit harder than the Prismacolors, but I reckon they're softer than the Polychromas. The colours are quite nice too. It's a, it's a really nice selection of colours. Yeah, those blues mix perhaps the nicest of any of the blues that I've tried so far. They're not the brightest blues that I've used, but um, Actually, they're, pretty, they're plenty bright enough. They mix very nicely though. Everything mixes really well with this set. So far, I've got no issues with any of it. I'll happily take quite a few layers, even when I press a bit, I'll still accept another layer or two over the top, which is nice. Okay, yeah, I like that. Very deep, dense color. Let's try the pink and the purple now. Oh wow, look how dense that pink is. It is a darker pink than a lot of the others, but I can tell you right now, using it, it's very soft, um, nice and dark, and very easy to gradiate, gradiate it out to the white. The other thing I'll mention is I've sharpened these pencils a few times and I've had no breakage problems at all with them. They sharpen really nicely, so, and I'm putting a bit of pressure on this core. There's still no signs of it snapping on me. 
think you could this would be an excellent set to use if you wanted to do special effects with multiple soft layers and because this would just do anything you ask them to these pencils I think isn't that nice let's try the red I'm not anticipating any issues with it and I have none these are nice and nice dark and easy to apply with a nice thick layer all right and finally we'll go the black Again, not anticipating any issues with the black, and I'm not getting any either. That's that black is as black as perhaps even blacker than the black of the Mitsubishi pencil that I used earlier. That is really nice. Look at that. Okay, that is. I'll continue on with this section, and when I've finished, I'll have a little talk about my overall thoughts at the end. Now the Mandela is complete. I'll give you my thoughts on what I think about the eight different sets of pencils that I used. Out of the eight, I think the Stadler Norris Club were definitely the worst. They, had, they were very, very hard and even with a lot of pressure, I couldn't get much color out of them. They blended okay, but I think their overall look of them being so pale was, was frankly terrible. They may perform better on a, a more textured paper with a lot more tooth, but on the smooth surface that you find in most colouring books, I don't think they're really suitable at all. The Contis, which were the French ones, were a little bit better. 
uh, it's still very light to use and, and very hard pencils. The pink and the purple were quite nice and I think the dark blue was but the rest of it were they were a bit hard to use. Out of the three of them I preferred the Columbia. They were again they're a, a cheap student brand pencil. I think the whole box cost me about um, maybe four or five dollars but uh, and, and I think if, if you could only afford a very cheap uh, budget pencils and you did have Columbia in your area they, they would be alright to use. Now out of the other pencils, the medium priced pencils and in this I would um, include the Mitsubishi, the Koenor and perhaps even or the Lyra is sort of a cross between mid price I think and the, and the higher priced ones but I really liked the Koenor Progressos personally I found the colour was really dense really bright it mixed fine on there I think if I do it again I'd go in with a bit of a lighter touch to make the merge in a bit better but they certainly happily um, accepted multiple layers of colour over the one area and still were willing to, to um, accept more the performance of the Mitsubishi's was a bit patchy some of them performed better than others the darker colours did not mix very well into the lighter colours and it was a bit of a struggle to get a nice gradient and the black was very black but some of the other colours particularly the blues and the yellows and the orange it was it was hard to get a nice dense area of colour in there not my favourite um, again if I had nothing else to use I'd probably use this and they may perform better on a more tooth paper but I don't think they're terribly good for colouring books uh, the Rembrandts were beautiful I enjoyed using those there I can thoroughly recommend them. Moving up to the Derwent Colour Softs, they were soft to use but um, I felt the problems that I had with colour dust coming out of them and the tiny tips of the uh, ends of the pencil fracturing when I was putting a bit of pressure on them uh, sort of let me down a little bit. Still nice pencils, um, not my favourites but I'd happily use them again. And then of course you've got the Caran d'Ache Luminances, the very expensive ones. And here you really do get what you pay for. These were beautiful to use. They laid down thick and dense and they were very easy to layer over the top of and to blend in. I really enjoyed using these pencils. So there you go. There's my eight pencil review for today. If you enjoyed this, you might like to have a look at my previous eight pencil review using different brands of pencils. And I'll leave a link down below as well if you want to quickly dart over there and have a look. I hope you enjoyed this and good luck with any colouring adventures you're currently on. And until next time, happy colouring! I hope you're enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on. And until next time, happy colouring!